morning 8kj so i'm going to do two videos for you guys today um as i've been doing videos i thought i would branch out into the world of hair tutorials so i'm going to do ve style hair because it's ve day so i thought i would um do a ve day hair with a bit of a twist um so, oh, I've just realised I've missed a trick. I can, I've got an attachment to put my phone on my mirror, which I should have done, but never mind. My crazy, rather amateur setup will do. So, we're going to do, I'll just brush my hair, um, we're going to do a 1940s style with a bit of a uh, modernish twist. Okay, I love 1940s hair. Um, when I've been in shows and stuff, um, I've, this has always been, ever since I was a kid, my favourite things to do. But we used to do, I think it's the Grish, not Grishan, Gershwin twist, where it's kind of rolled up in a twist obviously neater than this around the back of the head um but this one we're not going to do that we're going to do um a victory roll so um i've got my to make it a bit because it's quite a well it's a special v day anyway because it's 75 years that's why our bank holiday was moved to the friday rather than the may bank holiday being on monday um but also with the songs and things are quite pertinent to what's going on with um, with the coronavirus. So, right, I got I've got a little basket. Now you don't need need all fancy fancy pants stuff. Okay, I know I've got some fancy pants stuff, um, but you don't you don't need it. You can do it with um, just. I've got a texturizing spray, but if you've got dry shampoo, you can use dry shampoo. I bought that because I thought I was going to go for a run, but I didn't. Hairspray. Um, I've got a back combing brush, but again, you don't need that. You can do it just like, it's just fancy pants. Okay. Um, bands and clips, which I'll show you in my very... Uh, Bang on Oxo Cube. I have got my Fisherman Friends one, but I don't know where that is. I have a funny feeling that's actually at school. I've got some sectioning clips, and you will need quite a few hair bands. Um, so, yeah, and you'll need some Kirby grips, which I've got in here. Kirby grips, bobby pins, hair grips, all the same thing, yeah? So it's the ones that look like that. Okay, now some of these in here are probably older than you guys because they're um the ones I used when I was um when I was performing so just brush your hair we all know how to do that we all know how to do that okay so we're going to do yeah we're going to do a uh, victory roll now they are they are easy once you get the knack of them, when I was Mrs. McCready in um, and the White Witch in Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, this is what I had. So, um, but we're going to do it with a bit of a top knot that I've learned from watching Laura Whitmore's um, Instagram lives with her hairstylist Sophie. So, um, what we're going to do, okay, find your part in. So, mine is deciding to fall on the side at the moment. Okay, which is really handy. That's kind of what we want, all right? And then you're wanting to go back. If you push your finger up, okay, push your finger up. So you've got, you want quite a bit. Now I've got a problem because mine's in layers, all right? Just tuck it behind your ears at the minute, all right? And then what I'm wanting to do is do a bit of a triangle. So I want some of this bulk at the front, okay? to go back all right so i want some of that to go back okay try and make a triangle like that okay so what i'm going to do now 
I should have got the clips out beforehand. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just clip it at the moment. Okay. So we'll do the other bits and then we'll come back to this. Okay. So you clip that. Yeah. Okay. So it kind of looks like that. Right. So that's kind of going to annoy us a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. I'm going to get texturizing spray or dry shampoo because it does the same thing. Okay. And just spray through the hair. Okay. Give it a bit of volume and a bit of something, something, and give it a bit of grip as well. Okay, so that's the tell it, mate. I look like I've sort of, I look like a lion. Ra. Right. <laughs> okay, just brush up through a bit. My hair, my hair's quite thick and it gets really knotty. Um, especially with, because under here's the bleach. It, we're growing out. Right, so what we're going to do now is from our ears. Oh, amazing. Thanks, Mum. Quite an apt mug. Absolutely brilliant. Like it, sorry. Uh, okay. Pop it. Yeah, pop it just there. That'd be... Mm -hmm. Shall Lovely. I take a slurp? Yes, it has got a bit of cold in, not a lot. Yeah. Thought there'd like to look. Yeah, no. Don't panic, Captain Mannering! Dad's Army. I used to love Dad's Army when I was a kid. Right. So, using your fingers, because we're going to do... So, I've kind of gone for a bit of a American-y style. We want to try and keep some of that line there. Okay, so I want, might want to bring those down there. So, right, so, I've split my hair. Okay, now I've tried this, and it's really, really awesome technique. Okay, so we're going to do half the hair in a ponytail now if you've got thick hair this is really really good really good technique so i've done it so it's a little bit little bit messy so it looks like i've been a land girl working out in the fields driving my van okay don't do it too tight because you're going to put another band in all right and then just pull it a little bit maybe i've done it a bit too oh no mm, i look a bit like a dinosaur I'm going to do that again because I look like a. I don't want to look like quite like a Stegosaurus. Right, there we go. So it's a little bit messy. Okay, and then I'm just going to go around three times. Right, there we go. So we've got it in a band there, and we've got these here. So what I'm going to do now is. Okay pull this up so and I'm going to put it with another band um, so what I'm going to do is okay, I'm get my hairbrush make sure your hairbrush is clean all right and I'm actually going to spray a little bit of hairspray on my hairbrush so that when I brush the back bits up they're nice and smooth okay so I'm going to pull it up right and then i'm going to and well, my hair's got really long just brush up the back okay and it'll just make sure the back is nice and smooth okay you probably could do this with a um better type of brush and my just bog standard brush and then bring that right up to join the other ponytail okay I think I wanted this a bit higher, but never mind. And then, okay, we're going to get... See, I did that sneakily. I didn't even tell you. Our other band. Ooh, there we go. Okay, our other band. And we're going to tie it round. Again, not, not too tight. We don't want it, like, cutting your brain supply off. Or blood supply, I meant to say there. All right. So we've then got one ponytail, okay? So there's two bands in it and one ponytail, right? Okay, so we are going to, I'm gonna leave that ponytail at the minute, all right? Okay, let's try, I've still got my stegosaurus bit. Right, 
actually if we get this out the way so what we're then going to do okay so you can either if you've got really long hair like me you can twist it and like tie it ooh, through in a knot if you wanted okay and then that would be a bit of a tighter top knot okay all right so you can do that and then the ends you just tuck down all right and then we'll fix it with the kirby grips all right or what i'm going to do because i want it a little bit bigger and puffier so i'm going to take split my ponytail in two and i'm going to roughly roughly twist it round okay like that actually no i'm not i am going to so that is one way but what i'm going to do take the two bits and then i'm going to cross them over ooh, and tie that through right and then over okay so this will give it a bit of bulk i could have backcombed some of it as well but never mind okay so that give it a little bit of bulk and then i'm going to just kind of push it down all right so that i've got it there and then I'm going to put it into how I want it all right so I'm going to put my hand on it so it's like that I'm going to put my hand on it and now I'm going to get some Kirby grips now this is I remember when I found this out this did blow my mind now how do you put Kirby grips in do you normally do it with the bumpy end to the outside they're actually designed the bumpy bit is supposed to go near your head okay I'm about to do what uh, I shouldn't do and would tell you all off so <laughs> open them up don't use your teeth Okay, look, bumpy bit, can you see, bumpy bit, is going in towards my head, okay, and it holds it tighter, that's how, that is actually how they were designed to be used. Okay, so, and you don't need as many if you do it this way, and how many of you, when you use them, find they start wiggling their way out, okay, so if you put your bumpy bit, towards your head rather than towards the outside it um, st should stop that wiggle out should I say as that one starts to wiggle out now I can't use all of these because I need to use some for the victory roll Okay, so we can clip that bit. I'm going to deal with that bit in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to clip that in. All right, so you might want to put on a little bit of hairspray. Okay, right, what we're going to do now, so this is the victory roll. All right, so I'm going to get my backcomb brush. I'm just going to brush it through. Okay, make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, ignore the grey hairs. Well, they're not grey, they're blinking white, they are. I've just seemed to have skipped grey. Now, if you wanted, you could have pulled some bits out to go down. Okay. But we're not. Right. So, what we are going to do is we are going to back comb this bit. Okay. So, we're going to back comb. Okay. I wish when I was performing and on stage I really see it's gone a bit looks matty so then with see this brush is really cool because with this side you can smooth it over but we will also deal and get that sorted I wish I had this brush when I was performing because I used to always back comb my hair and it'd just be a nightmare right so Oh, let's get right down in those roots so let's get right down in those roots that's what we want right down there because this will help us mold the hair and it'll also give us some bulk right <laughs> okay so right what we are gonna do then now this this gets a bit tricky okay right so we're gonna Try and smooth the top down. There we go. I've used managed it with my fingers. All right. So what we're then going to do? Sorry, my hair's so long. Okay. 
we're going to get we are going to twist it using our fingers okay and basically we want it to look like um, one of those old-fashioned pastry old-fashioned pastry cream kind of buns like with shoe pastry okay where they're on like a corn so I've kind of got I've just kind of shoved it <laughs> like that and then that I'm gonna roll round okay roll round my finger and move my finger oh try and keep it together move my finger okay twist my finger all right and then I can then twist it twist it right if you look on YouTube there'll be people that are way better than me at doing this twist it twist it twist it okay twist it and you've got kind of your basic twisted shape okay can you see this I'm going to deal with in a minute I've got lots of baby hairs at the front okay so get my Kirby grip I was about to do it again Sorry guys, I've got into bad habits of opening these with my teeth and I'm trying, desperately trying not to. Right, so that, I put that Kirby grip up the inside there. And then we'll put this other one. So if any of you later go on to do GCSE drama, um, there'll be... Some plays that we do, or even you may wish we, I mean, we don't know what the stimuli would be for you guys. Um, right, let's see if I can put this just back there, see if that hold so then I can put it in the top. Um, so you never know if you get anything that's kind of oh, it's all going wrong. Um, that's sort of 1940s ish, you could really go to town. And how to do the hair. Probably should have practiced this before going in to a hair tutorial. Right, okay. So, I'm going to deal with this bit in a minute and I'm going to tidy it up in a minute. So, don't panic. It's going wrong, Miss Johnston, but don't panic. Right. So, I've still got several... Kirby grips here. All right. Right. So, what we want, because I've gone back, you can go forward. I probably should have gone forward, but I didn't want to. I wanted to go for this is kind of more an American y Rosie the Riveter. You'll see lots of Rosie the Riveter stuff. Um, and she actually was from America, but her stuff and everything applies to today. So, right, right, let's do this bit. Right, so we'll get this round. Actually, we'll leave that. So, what I'm wanting to do is get this bit nice and kind of like a comb. That's what I'm wanting, like a comb. Well, I suppose I'll be going out into the field, so I kind of haven't got this much time to spend on my hair, really. Oh, that one's gone funny. Oh, do you know what? Don't do that, girls. Don't do that. It's um, not good for your teeth. Or boys, if you're watching. Sorry, that was very stereotypical of me, wasn't it? I do apologise. Do you know what I've had? Um, my hairdresser actually is now a uh, bloke, and some of the best people that have done my makeup have been male. Right, okay, that'll do, that'll do. So, Miss Johnston twist on that little bit of a mess. Now, some people be so much better at it than me. So, what I'm wanting is to bring this round a bit. Okay, there we go, like that, okay, because we're wanting it in like a little cone. Now, Miss Denny, actually, our old music teacher, would have been amazing at this, but she would have done like a little pompadour, 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 
thing. I call it quiff, little quiff, but I decided, no, let's make life hard. Hard for yourself, Miss Johnston. So, let's... Well, I say victory roll, probably more quiffy. We can see the attempt there. I probably should have pulled more hair into it. Um, and I probably should have practiced before going straight into this. That was, um, I'm kind of hoping that didn't pick that up. Mum, I am still filming out here. Well, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how, like this bit, this is like my baby hair. So, if I grab some hairspray. Oh, don't spray in your eyes. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put this, kind of spread it out. It's literally just practice and playing with it. See, I'm not done at my top teeth. <laughs> right. Okay. So. Yeah, it's kind of done what I wanted. So what we're going to do is spray it. Okay, let's spray it. this bit up. Okay. Oh, I meant to put some gel stuff on but never mind right hey ho what we're going to do now is put our headband on okay because uh every good land girl had a headband so we've got our got our headband all right and i'm going to bring it behind my ears and Oh, yeah, 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 this is what I wanted. Right, and then I'm going to tie it to the side here. Okay. And then... There we go. Don't need it saying top shop. Don't they have top shop in a... And so, I don't know if... So, there we go. There is my kind of in a rush not practiced done it for several years not done it for several years victory roll with um the headband actually i am going to use some so you can i've got i've got a matte pomade but you don't you can just use what i would have used back in back in my stage days um would have been just boys hair gel okay and we can just rub some of these I could have put it on beforehand just to keep some of this down okay and out of the way and kind of make it look nice and smooth <laughs> oh that smells nice probably not what you're supposed to do I was probably supposed to do it beforehand but, okay. Oh, this is my conquer tree I planted when I was like five. So, could put a bit of red lippy if you on if you want. Oh, that bit. Now I'm going to just tidy this bit up. Oh, you're falling down the cracks of the table. There we go. So, yeah, this bit sticking out. I mean, you can leave it if you want. But we're just going to get Kirby grip, remember? Oh. The lumpy bits towards your head, and then in we go. There we are. You could, if you wanted, put some Kirby grips down on your headband if you wanted. Okay, you could always put one behind there because it's lurking behind your big whiffy style. All right, and there we go. So there is, see if I can bring it round. Yep, yeah, there is. 
fun. Okay, you can see a little bit of a line there, I guess. I could deal with that. Right, and headband. So there is our VE Day 2020 hairstyle and done in oh, just just over 25 minutes so that wasn't too bad okay if you if you do give it a go <laughs> give me a picture email me a picture um because it'd be great to see if some of you gave it a go that'd be really really cool all right so um see you all soon okay and hope you enjoy ve day bye